All right, Chief X at you. Chief X at you again. So, Sugar is the Devil is the title. So, I just want to show you what I use instead of using sugar, right? I've lost, you know, uh, now, you know, 18 pounds over the last few months. You know, I'm a, a small frame anyway. Um, and I've just been on this health quick kick and to trying to do this body transformation. It's been working. Let me just tell you what I've been learning and what I use now. You know what I mean? I realize sugar is the devil. When you cut sugar out, you 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 um you, you, you can cause your body to heal in certain ways and and, and lose weight and and, and and I'm trying to tell you, sugar is key to good health and weight loss. You guys can do your own research on that. I don't want to get into that. I just want to show you what I use instead of sugar, right? So, lately, my lady friend put me on to monk fruit. And it sat in my cabinet for a year. Because I really didn't look into it. She always said, you don't listen. <laughs> I didn't listen. If you're listening, sweetie. <laughs> so, she put me on the monk fruit, right? And I'm a coffee drinker. And my understanding is coffee is great. A cup in the morning to get you get you flowing and get you moving. It's also a natural uh, uh, laxative. The coffee bean is, and I I got my gourmet coffee in my um, jar. Go to farmers market and get this gourmet coffee. Then I put it in the mason jar, right? So I said, when I drink my gourmet coffee, I don't want no bullshit up in there. So. <laughs> I'm going to start using some real pure cream. I don't have any yet, but so I just use some lactate milk, right? And um 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 I'm I'm using sweetener as monk fruit and um honey. So I go to the farmers market, right? And I get my honey at the farmers market. Okay, my lady friend put me on this and I just got wise to it since I've been on the health kick, right? And I say I don't want no sugars, right? So I actually in the last five months, stop drinking any juices, orange juice, apple juice, all the above. All this sugar is too sugar enhanced. It ain't real. I was told by the doctors in my research to just eat the actual fruit if you want to get your vitamin C and things like that. So, you know, I make smoothies with fruit and spinach. You know what? So spinach <clears throat> and fruit and my protein powder and I'm, and I'm good. Okay, let me get back to the sweeteners. So I wanted to put people up on monk fruit. And what I do is, I, I know what I was going to say. I stopped drinking juices, uh, uh, punch, soda, orange juice, apple juice, all the above. Now, let me be real. I'm not extreme. Every three days, I might down a fucking soda if I get a fucking sweet tooth and craving and it's hot enough. Or I might get a, some apple juice and just down and just quench my thirst and I want something sweet and cold sometimes. It's every three days. But other than that, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, I drink nothing but water. And that's how you cut your sugar intake actually 60% by drinking nothing but water. The rest is just food. So most people's sugar come from drinks. Punch and shit and soda and apple juice and orange juice and all this shit we drink to quench our thirst. Even Gatorade, you know what I mean? Even Powerade, right? Shit ain't got no electrolytes in it. <laughs> no, I do a little bit, it does. Um, so, I only drink water for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. But I drink coffee every day. So I said, if I'm drinking coffee and, I, and I've been putting sugar in it, right? Let me stop since I'm on a health kick. And find some alternates. So I use monk fruit. So I want to put people up on it. Honey is great. I've learned honey has a lot of benefits too. Do your own research on that. I just want to give you a little game on monk fruit. Check it out. So here goes monk fruit. This is the scientific name. Which my camera is very. I'll read it for you. And I can't pronounce it. Seratia gross venori. <laughs> it's a plant found in Asia, right? So this is a plant. <clears throat> it says also known as what? Monk fruit, if you can see. Bam. Monk fruit or Luhan Goa. 
It's an herbaceous perennial vine. Hold on, let me get, get to it. We 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 going we having class for a minute, right? Uh, uh, gourd, in the gourd family of the gourd family, it is native to southern China. The plant is cultivated for its fruit extract called mangrocides, which creates a sweetness sensation, two hundred and fifty times stronger than sh- sucrose than sugar, basically. So. It creates a sweetness sensation 250 times stronger than sucrose. So it's extracted, right? And it's a low-calorie sweetener. Actually, it's no calories for drinks in traditional Chinese medicine, right? And they call it monk fruits. And I guess some monks in southern China popularized it or what have you. But it's just nicknamed monk fruit. So let me just show you what it looked like. That's it cut open. And when it's broken down, it comes like this. Bam. What you see? It looks like some sweet sugar, but it's not. It's monk fruit. So it's a natural sweetener. You like my coffee cup? Chief X asked you. Yeah, I've been going to the... To the so look, look, oh, look. Here we go. So these are prunes. Since I've been on a health kick... I said for fiber, if you're on a good diet, and I'm not extreme, but if you're on a good diet and you're dieting stuff, you also want to be able to remove waste and have fiber. So I'm I'm not sure if I'm always getting my fiber. So I've read up on prunes and I said, damn, if I knew the, the health benefits of prunes, I would always have been doing this all my life. But anyway, it's, I didn't know it was so good for gut health. Not that it can help your bowel movement. It's amazing for gut health. Do you hear me? So you know people here cook kombucha and all. Kombucha ain't good for gut health. That's well, it is a little bit, but that's a whole nother story. Natural gut health meds, prunes, plus bowel movements and fiber. It takes care of basically the fiber you need. So I eat four a day. Four a day is all that's necessary. And I get them fresh. I used to get a big old bag, right? I used to get a big old bag at Costco. But I, I, after I did it two times, I said, nah, I can't do that anymore because I'm single. <laughs> and live alone. And that bag ended up going for three, four months. I said, oh, man, goddamn. And some get hard. So I said... Maybe for a family. Costco sometimes has them big packages. That's for a family, not for a single man. I said, I need my fresh. So I get them at the farmer's market now. These are some good quality prunes. Fresh. Four a day. That's it. And I, mean, I, I just leave them out. And I see them on. Let me throw four in my mouth. And go on about my day. Have great bowel movements. Every day. Everything's working right. <laughs> so... Sugar is the devil. Honey or monk fruit or whatever substitute you you please. But I'm a coffee drinker and I was drinking coffee every day. I have coffee every morning, a cup of morning. And every other night I'll drink some coffee if I'm up watching movies and shit. I'll drink. So if I'm going to be using sugar every day, why not get a substitute? So that's what I use. So just kicking some game. Get you some gourmet. And coffee is healthy. A coffee a day. Coffee itself is a natural laxative. Look it up. So let me just share something else since we at it. <laughs> this is what I've been eating. Let me turn this light off and see. Okay, we don't need that. Man. Wagyu beef. They got all kind of way. Wagyu. It's where it, a Kobe beef. Is a form of Wagyu beef. This is the best ground beef on planet Earth, bar none. And I'll bet a thousand bucks on it with anybody. Wagyu beef. From Asia. Totally 100%, without a doubt, unadulterated, grass-fed beef. I mean, these are some pristine fucking cows it come from. These are some motherfucking bougie ass cows. These cows is bougie. <laughs> no, but they're very healthy grass fed cows. This is the healthiest 
ground beef on planet Earth. People say, hey, well, why could you beef is expensive? You know what? And I realized it is. I said, I cannot be, be no Wacker You Beef buyer. But I realized something. I got this for 12 bucks, right? Vines had it. 12 bucks. But I said, wait a minute. And I buy it all the time now. So I said, wait a minute. I can eat. This is three different meals, though. And I'm just single. Now, if I was a family, a family of four, five, you know, no. It would be expensive for that. <laughs> but just me, I realize. I realize. No, it's just me. So, three meals. So basically, that's four dollars a meal. Like I, had, I made rice today in, in a patty of this, and set the patty on the fucking rice with some butter, and that shit was so. You, this is the most delicious beef. I made bur two burgers with it, and some rice, and with this beef patty. Best hamburger meat. Best hamburger you'll ever have. However you dress it. Best beef patty you'll ever... Eat. I've even had ground... ground. Uh, 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 what do you call it? Meatloaf made with Wagyu you beef. Best meatloaf. This shit is... When you have a burger, it'll be so juicy. And it's so nutrient-filled. So I'm just giving you game. If you guys... A lot of y'all know what Wagyu beef is or Kobe beef. But it's a expensive beef. Just because of the cows that come from. So this is like legit. You got to be legit ground beef. Whack you beef. The best on earth. Bar none. I didn't went off on a tangent. Y'all like my little decorations? I come always, I, some, not always, but I put my little oranges around. I'll remind you to eat an orange. I eat an orange a day. Because I get a sweet tooth and I be getting the natural fruit. Right? But back to it. Monk fruit sweetener? Oh, honey. I know this is a long video, but I'm high. I've had some, some cannabis edibles. What? Let me show you what I did at. Oh. <laughs> milligram, no, excuse me, 210 milligram THC chocolate bar. What I sell. Actually, my best seller. My best seller. So I had me two. It got like Hershey. You had like two pieces I break off and take me two two pieces of chocolate, and I'm good. Chief X, I'm out.